Okay, with this case, we're going to be placing an implant in the tooth number 21 position. Uh, we're utilizing the Invivo 5 software. And let's just uh, get started with placing an implant. We're going to add implant to site number 21. And we'll just drag and drop that into place. Our default setting is Zimmer, but I need a more narrow implant, so let's go with the implant direct. Legacy 3, 3.2 millimeter, and I'll make it 11 and a half long. Now I'll be using these different frames uh, to place this implant right, where I think is the most optimal place for the bone that we have to work with. You can see I can move the implant mesial, distally, tilt it buckle, lingual. Um, use these tools over here to get the again the right angle and pitch. I can increase or decrease the, um, the height. And I will usually take about five to ten minutes to put one of these in just to make it perfect but for this demonstration I'm just going to get it pretty close uh, just to kind of demonstrate how this software works. I can zoom in and take a look at right where this implant's going to be placed, the buckle and the lingual. You can tell it's kind of a tight fit. Let me nudge it a little bit more lingual. Okay. Not looking too bad. I want to toggle on the trajectory. It's a uh, red cylinder. It kind of gives me an idea where this implant is, is placed as far as um, an orientation to the other teeth. Toggle that back off. Let's go ahead and add the, um, it's going to add a, um, a restoration with an abutment on there. Okay. And again, with this, I can uh, use this clipping feature so I can remove the top teeth and just look down on the occlusal. I can tell it needs to be a little bit skinnier. I need to move it more buckly. And I also need to tilt it, tilt the the cuss tip out buckly just a little. Okay, I can also uh, adjust the height of this and get it right to where I want. And this is just for demonstration purposes. I'm not going to have a CAD CAM milled restoration or abutment from this software. I'm just simply trying to get an idea where this um, implant needs to be placed in relation to the um, restoration. If I go back to the implant screen, I can see the red outline of the crown and the orange outline of the abutment. And that's looking like it's pretty close. Again, I'd probably tweak with it or tweak it a little bit more, uh, but this um, this will work for, like I said, for this demonstration. That is the Invivo 5 software, and from here, this, along with the scan of the model, will be sent to Anatomage, upon which they will make a surgical guide to place the implant precisely where we've mapped it out here in this software.